All right, we got to talk about this Raw show from Monday night. And when this show started, I thought for sure that they just used the script from uh, from last week because it started the exact same way. It was they were announcing was, the exact was, same matches. It, it was it was you know we always joke about reruns. And this show was a rerun. I mean, this was rerun 50-50 booking in the sense of we have the exact same matches practically, and we just have the other guy win that won from winning last week. Um, and you know, you know, con- you know, in continuation of programs. I mean, I don't think the show was bad, but it was almost comical watching, you know, the same, you know, like the Cedric Alexander Shelton match. And the other thing too is is. They had long matches. Oh, my God. Multiple segments. And it's, it's. Uh, I mean, we'll get to it here in a second. Let's just start at the beginning. So we started with the same segment we started with last week, which is MVP and Lashley are in the ring. The five with, women are in the ring with them. Well, they were, they were different women, at least. Or at least some of them were different. I don't know if they were all different. But. So they talk about leaving the Thunderdome in July, and they throw out the name Drew McIntyre. And so, of course, Drew McIntyre comes out, and... Uh, and so he's talking about how he wants a shot at the WWE title and he didn't get a rematch and talks about what happened in Mania. MVP distracted him, talked about Strowman at the pay-per-view. And so as he's talking, out comes the New Day. And Kingston notes, I pinned Lashley last, last week. And Drew McIntyre says, you're welcome. And this makes Kingston upset because I guess he figures he could have beaten Bobby Lashley on his own. Even That's though what he, he said. Has- we have no evidence of this, by the way. Yeah, Drew didn't, Drew was skeptical of this, but but said, "Okay, you can you know you can say that." So Kingston said, "I answered the challenge because I never got my rematch for the WWE title. This was years ago versus Brock Lesnar. He's talking about he did never get his rematch." And so they all get in this big argument, and finally Adam Pearce comes out and he says, "Tonight it will be Kingston and McIntyre. The winner of that match will face Lashley for the title at Hell in a Cell." So after that, they had the first of, like, a billion interviews. All the same. Uh, It's Strowman here. They're all saying, hey, we're going back on the road. I'm the uh, conductor of destruction or whatever. They really are trying to sell some tickets. Hey, that's their job. Yes. Look, I, I, I thought that, you know, if there's one thing that we can say, without a doubt, that they are doing a great job of, you know, more than AEW... Is AEW announced they were going on the road and just just like hey we're going on the road and that's it you know graphic this is these are the cities this is you know go to AEWTix.com and that's it this one you know big video packages all these clippings um, you know um, every wrestler that's got nothing to do on the show cuts cutting a promo um, about how they can't wait to go on the road go to Houston and Dallas and Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. What do they want to do? Like play their? They're gonna go. Gonna, you can go flex with us. They said. Yeah, you can go. Flex That's what with I them. like to do when I go to a show. I like to flex with all the wrestlers. Is that what you do? No, I don't. Okay. Hey, at the end of the day, it is a promotion, and the job is to promote. And what they did on the show was they promoted. So we'll see how these ticket sales go. Yep, so Wednesday's the big day. But um, look, the one thing we can say is is that it wasn't for lack of promotion. Because they did a really good job. If it if it is, you know, if it if it sells, it does, and if it doesn't, you know, it just it doesn't. Um, so we'll see. We had Kofi Kingston and Drew McIntyre. They went twenty one minutes, and actually, it was a hell of a match for the twenty one minutes. Oh, we'll I, get to the finish here in a second. I I I, I I I did think the match was real good, but I mean, but I mean, it's like. This finish, no. I mean, I mean, I. Dave, we were talking about this on Friday, and you told me it's a TV match. Okay, yeah, it's a TV match. This to went almost new... the exact same amount of time. Yeah, but there's a there's a huge difference. One was a TV match to build a program and get Alistair Black in there with Big E, and you're moving on. This one is because they got nothing, so they go 20 minutes. And at the end, what program did they advance? Nothing. They wasted our time. And well, they're, do they're, the re- they're building a rematch for next week. The same freaking match. Look, yes. if, it was, if it was a cage match, I'd go okay. If it's, you know, except they've ruined cage matches. If there was a stipulation, if there was a whatever, this was just like, we're going to, you know, 
we got nothing. We got no. An- we got no answer. We got no finish. We got nothing, and we're just going to do it again because we got to fill time. That's a big difference between setting up a new program. Well, in my opinion, as a fan, I was much more infuriated that they fucked up a title match than a random match in the opener here. On there was nothing on the line here. I guess it was uh, the, the main event in the pay per view, which is a lot bigger eh, than the Intercontinental whatever. Title. The Intercontinental eh. Title is not even a main event title. This is the main event on the pay per view. That's what they. That's what they just. You know, they're whatever. We're going to do it again next week, and they're going to do another twenty minutes because that's how they fill time now. Well, the match was great because Drew McIntyre was. He just decided we're going to have a great match as he normally does, and he was very aggressive. He was working his ass off. He did this awesome. He he had uh, Kofi in a guillotine, or no, Kofi had him in a guillotine. And he turned that into a power snap suplex, which was an awesome spot. And they had the dives. Uh, what's his name? MVP and Lashley are there with the women on the stage. They eventually come down to ringside. Kofi does the uh, trust fall. He uh, hits everybody, basically. Well, he hits McIntyre. And McIntyre, McIntyre falls, falls into Lashley. Falls into Lashley on the chair and knocks the chair over. Lashley out of his chair, yeah. So they get back in the ring, and Lashley and MVP just attack them both for the disqualification. And they beat him up, and, I mean, we've seen this a thousand times in every show. Long match, shit finish. Guys worked okay. hard, horrible finish. Okay, but That's you know story. what? Every other time we see this finish, you know what they do? They go, Bobby Lashley, you blew it. You're getting, you're having, going to have a three way. And we've seen that a million times. Instead, it's like, we're just going to do another match. Yeah. Hmm? And uh, they could always do that next week, I might add. Oh, what? A three way? And end up with a three way? Yeah, they three-way. may. Actually, they, they can m- because they've done the stipulation that if Lashley interferes, he will be suspended for 90 days so he will not be interfering but that doesn't mean that someone else cannot interfere it doesn't mean and it doesn't mean that they Just lashley it doesn't mean they can't do a double disqualification either hey if That's you're right. a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.